What is going on guys? So much here bring us a first ever vlog for my channel. I'm not recording with my real camera. I'm just doing my phone because where I'm going, I don't know if I carry my camera around. I'm going to Bush Gardens today. If you ever watch Parks and Recreation, they had this one episode every season where they go on this day called Treat Yourself Day, where you treat yourself to just whatever. Today is my Treat Yourself Day, and I'm going to Bush Gardens. I decided just a couple days ago, I was gonna get a reservation, and I was just gonna go for the day and just have a good time and just get away from everything. You know, life's been going good, but it's busy. So I thought, you know, why not take a break and just go to Bush Gardens where that's the place where I can just let free of life and just have fun for however long I'm there. So I'm just gonna try to vlog throughout today so we'll see what happens and uh, yeah, catch all Bush Gardens. Now is an integral part of the journey to Bush Gardens, which is the ferry ride. It's the most beautiful sight when you pull up to Bush Gardens, the side of Apollo's chariot. Honey, I'm home. What's up, guys? So a little check-in here. I've been here for about an hour, and um, it's a cold day. I have like 48. Um, as you know, for those of you who know me, you know I am in shorts right now, even though I have a hoodie on. I'm right beside Apollo's chariot, which is right there. They're, they're running about to get her started, but due to the cold temperatures, they're waiting to get it open. Should be open soon, they're doing testing. So let's keep you updated throughout the day. And that right there, my friends, is the new coaster Pantheon. Just got off my ride of a polished chariot over there. It's cold. I'm feeling good. My voice is already about horse. The most beautiful sight. The only sad part about this view is that uh, Half the coasters are closed today, so most of this closed close to my background. I can't actually ride today. What is up, guys? I am currently at the Fest House. I just got off of Bolton after waiting a while for them to open that one due to the weather. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's still a little chilly. I was shivering waiting for Bolton, but from Fest House, got some mozzarella, got some pizza. Like I said earlier, today is a break. I'm live. And for those of you who don't know, I was big for many years, and when I went to Liberty, where I go to college, I started hitting the gym every day, doing just straight running, eating better, um, eating really just real chicken salads, essentially. And it's what I've been doing since August, and I've slimmed down a lot, but a break from life is a break from a diet and workout, so bon appetit. If you don't cry when you see this building right here, you have no soul. I mean, one of the greatest dark rides that ever exists was right here. And it closed down because of SeaWorld's problems. Not Bush Gardens problems, SeaWorld's problems. And if I put up with it, ah, shame, shame. Rest in peace, Cursed Art Castle. What's up, guys? I just got off Invader. Took about an hour and a half for that. Just not, not cold temperatures. It was just a very long line. Yeah, so. Unfortunately, Alpengeist is closed for the Food and Wine Festival event. So, had to walk by that, because if you don't know, Alpengeist is my favorite one. Loch Ness Monster is also closed. So this Griffin right here is the last coaster that I haven't ridden today. They have open, open. But they need a stable temperature for it to open up because of the cold temperatures. They say it needs to be at stable 41. If I get on this, it's an Alphenegas flyer. Doing my last rides and then uh, doing, leaving Bush Gardens and to another part of my day. Just got off Griffin. Wait about five minutes once they started letting people back on. Now the line is probably about an hour to two hour wait. With the line going all the way back to Griffin Gifts, if you know what that is. What's up guys? I have left Bush Gardens. Great day. Great day, uh, very crowded. Not a whole lot of social distancing at w one point because it got very crowded. I didn't get any footage of Pantheon testing, I, but I did see a little bit of it testing. They didn't test it a whole lot today, but it did a little bit. I'm a little hoarse because I've been yelling all day. But from I can tell you, from what I did see, Pantheon is a beauty of a coaster. It's absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to ride it whenever they decide to open it. Hopefully it's in the summer when I'm back home so I don't have to make a special trip back but i will win this opening weekend for pantheon it was a great day weather a little chilly but it got better throughout the day but my treat yourself day ain't done quite yet got a couple more stops before i head back home so i'll keep y'all updated what is up guys i made a, i went to a couple stores looking for stuff didn't really get anything so i didn't really update anything but i went for my last part of treat yourself 
Like I said earlier, I'm on a very intense diet of just salads and stuff when I'm at Liberty. So when I'm at home on breaks, you know, I like to treat myself to some food like uh, our local Mexican restaurant, which is delicious. I had a gift card from Christmas for Outback. So, you know, uh, Outback's pretty close to Bush Gardens. So I actually treat myself to a steak, some strawberry lemonade, and I am going to enjoy that while on the beautiful ferry. Just caught the ferry in town too. It's a real good day. What is up guys, my last part of the vlog. Hope you enjoyed my first ever vlog, probably a little awkward stuff my first time ever uh doing a youtube video just like this but back home good ride home great day it's a great day just to get away from life and just take a break take a mental break and just have fun and yell and lose my voice i'm not gonna be able to sing for a couple days good thing my ep is already recorded so anyway i'll catch y'all in the next video i'm a morse and i'm out peace